Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And today this is the intersection test video number six. If you saw intersection test number five, you're really familiar with how Autopilot 2.5 hardware performs on this road and the trouble that we're having where the car wants to transition mid intersection. So we are in the right lane trying to head straight through the intersection. This is footage from test number five here and we are trying to go straight through the intersection, but the car wants to go over to the left-hand side, even though we have traffic in front of us. And now with the newest software version, we're actually able to test it being the first car because we can slow autopilot all the way down to zero. Huge shout out to Akrama Tool and Nicola Pro supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. So all the clips in test number six are running 2019.40.50.7. But if you noticed already, you can tell that I'm not in my white Model 3. Yes, that's right. Check out the center display. I'm actually in my red Model 3. And I want to talk to you about why that matters. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that our red Model 3, we just took delivery of a brand new 2020 model. First time that they ever started counting them as 2020s in late November has Autopilot 3.0 hardware. So it has the most up-to-date or the FSD computer. And another good way to tell that is if you look really closely, we can see that it's actually showing the stoplights in there. Although it's not rendering them correctly, I'll touch on that later in the video. So here we go. We're gonna manually speed it up just like we saw in test number five, and it's already dipping straight over into that left lane. You can see here, it's going straight into that left lane car is in front of us thankfully and I do have to take over now if we do pause right here you can see that one two cones are showing up on the center display as well now we're turning around because I'm running this test multiple times in a row and we're in the left lane now heading in the opposite direction that we just passed through the intersection and I wanted to show you how great the autopilot travels through intersections. I've definitely found one particular intersection that's giving autopilot problems. That's why I want to focus this video series on this intersection. But here we are at left lane opposite direction and it is able to pass through flawlessly using that median, using the car in front of it to pass through perfectly. Here's another example, left lane opposite direction from the normal test and once the light turns green, the autopilot is going to follow this car in the left lane with no issues whatsoever. That is because I think it is looking at the median along with the car in front of us and it is relatively straight as far as the path of travel going through the intersection, although it doesn't have many lane markings. So now I'm going to get into the left hand turn lane here and pull a UE so we're back in the right hand lane in our test lane. So. I'll show you a close up right now on the traffic lights like I've mentioned before. So it is rendering the traffic lights, although not very accurately. You see we have one traffic light way far ahead of the other true traffic lights. You can see them up near the speed limit there and you can there's a better view of that. So one traffic light is way far in front of the other two traffic lights. Now of course I'm not expecting these traffic light renders to be perfect, but this is pretty off. Although we've seen several times where we have renders of vehicles that are backwards or buses that aren't buses, but you can see how it's rendering the stoplight. But look, you can clearly see with the human eye that all three stoplights are on the same plane. They're in the same line, actually connected to the same pole. So they are not, the middle one is not way far forward compared to the other two. Now you can tell that it is rendering the three other cars around us two cars in front of us and also this huge car on our left or this huge bus on our left along with the other car that's making a right hand turn. Now here is the huge bus to our left that is doing a fantastic job rendering as far as position and size and shape of that vehicle which is really impressive. So the light is turning green here. We are in autopilot because of the blue circle and we're going to see what happens mid intersection and it starts to dive near that left-hand lane there. So I do have to take over. Another hardware 3.0 test in the red Model 3. Anytime you see a red Model 3 on the center display, you know that we are in a 3.0 hardware car. We're a full self-driving hardware car. 
Now we are in autopilot because of that blue circle that you see on the center display and those two blue lines. We are about six cars back from the first car waiting for the light to turn green. You can see some movement in front of us in the left hand lane indicating that the light has turned green. So we'll start moving any second now. Uh, starting to approach the intersection, we're following this SUV right in front of us and it is indicated in dark in the center display. Mid intersection is usually where it fails and it does a great job. It picks up that right hand side of the road over there and it is able to pass through the intersection flawlessly. Now here is another similar situation in a hardware 2.5, my white Model 3, about five cars, four cars back, and we are mid intersection and the blue lines are jumping a little bit, but it is able to, again, pick up that right side of the road. So really impressive compared to the hardware 3.0 car, which does about the same thing, although we didn't see the blue lines jump back and forth, compared to the hardware 2.5 car, like you saw here, the autopilot lines are jumping back and forth. It's almost less decisive compared to the hardware 3.0 car. So back in the hardware 3.0 car, slowing down, we are going to be car number one. And again, this has only been possible since this last software update, 40.50.7, in that it is allowing us to have the speed of autopilot below 18 miles per hour. Previously, that was the minimum. Now we can take it all the way down to zero, which allows us to stop here at a stoplight, like you see, waiting for the light to turn red manually while maintaining that autopilot. You can see the blue circle is still on. I still have two blue lines moving forward, although I'm going zero miles per hour. Once the light turns green, that's when I use the right scroll wheel to scroll it up to increase my speed. And you can see almost immediately the car wants to go over to that left-hand lane, indicating to me that the car is trying to use that median as a guide, that center concrete median as a guide in order to know where to go because there is limited to no lane markings for that right-hand lane. Let me know what you think is happening and what the autopilot is seeing down below in the comments. So we're gonna make another U-turn and go and get another test, another 3.0 hardware test. I'm in the red Model 3 here. Autopilot engaged. This is a little bit of a tricky game, and it actually got disengaged on me. I re-engage it as we get close, but I'm not able to slow the car down in time, so I have to apply the brakes before I end up mid-intersection. So definitely, if you're trying to do these same tests like me, be really careful. And once you get close enough to the intersection, it is not gonna let you engage autopilot. It's actually not allowing me to do it here, like you can see. Just something to keep in mind if you guys decide to go out in your Model 3 or Model S or other Tesla vehicle and try this out for yourself. So we are in a hardware 2.5, my white Model 3 here, heading in the right-hand lane, going through the intersection like we saw before, although you can see it diving to that left-hand side, whereas previously, in that other test that passed, the car was able to maintain, although it did skip those blue lines jumping left to right, this time it just was committed to moving to that left-hand lane, which ultimately made me take over so I didn't go into that left-hand lane and uh, impact any other vehicle. Right-hand lane, hardware 2.5 car, following this blue van in front of us, we are engaged in autopilot with those two blue lines, and let's see what happens mid-intersection at the point where it usually fails. And you can see there, it is able to maintain that right lane position, although similar to that other pass test with the hardware 2.5 car, we saw the blue lines bouncing all over the place. Check out those blue lines. Although the lines were bouncing all over, it did maintain that right lane position and allowed it to carry through and I didn't have to disengage as a driver. So I found during my test that the hardware 2.5 car actually passed more tests than the hardware 3.0 car. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I know that Tesla is working on writing the code specifically for the 3.0 computer, but I'm not sure where you're quite there yet. That's probably why they're limiting the retrofits to only specific customers. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Push, 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 I will see you guys in the next one.